love this is not a spring chicken. The Grammys, well, maybe they were a little overshadowed by. Was it a hangover from Clive Davis's party with Chris Brown and Rihanna? <laughs> anyway, unfortunately, they weren't there, and Al Green was there to step in. And, well, he did a fabulous job, didn't he? But meanwhile, President Obama has taken his, well, campaign to the town halls. But for now, we'll bring old Cam on for comments on the headlines of today. Obama faces difficult tests with stimulus and bailout on tap. Well, his people are saying that uh, that sixty percent of the Republicans out there are now in support of the bill. Yeah, what planet did they get that from? <laughs> oh, uh, Iran's Katami to run in presidential election in two, in June. Yeah, it's called. Uh, he has about this much chance of uh, <laughs> of a moderate getting in. Obama's Democrats put the pork back in to, too important to leave out. Collins may pull out. Yeah, and Nelson may pull out in the Senate also. It's just ridiculous. Well, because Obama this morning said specifically that why not put these social programs in effect because you have the opportunity. The problem is, is that the people, the Congressional Budget Office and others have now said that the amount of money and interest that will be used amounts to $1,400 per person in the world now. Oh, that is ridiculous. They'd do better off to c just forget the stimulus package and yeah. give everybody a check here in the United well, States. For, for, That's a legal citizen. He complains about the blooming budget under Bush. He's, he wants $14 trillion. And he's complaining about Bush. Yeah. I know. It's like, of course, I did hear him say, well, if you're going to spend it anyway, you might as well put put in programs you've been trying to get passed for several decades. Yeah, but he says exactly what the Republicans have been saying. If Obama wasn't a politician, he could be an actor. Well, they said that they expect him to play himself in the movie about himself, and it should be an Academy Award-winning performance. <laughs> and you can expect it because, I mean, if he were to appear in a movie, he would, you know, because the... We're going to talk about the Academy Awards in a little while, about well, how they do things. Well, although he did win a Grammy. Did you know that? Yeah. I heard that he did a Grammy about one of his, he did a, okay, a they, book okay. on... Hillary does a thing, Bill does a thing, anybody, any, all the Democratic politicians, if they do anything, they get a Grammy. It's just, it's just they give it to them. I know, it's, it's kind of standard. Of course, they did talk at the Grammys about getting a, what, what did they call it, um, a cabinet position for the arts. Yeah, I know, I, I thought that was unreal. After pro promising a transparent administration, you cannot make yourself inaccessible on bad days. Uh, I know. Isn't that <laughs> something? That if it's a bad day, you're not going to be transparent. Well, there's not a whole lot of good days in the, when you're president of the United States. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I know. Yes. Obama to North Korea, Monday. Stop provocations and act like a responsible country. <laughs> I, I mean, okay. That does not work with countries. Okay, they said... Okay, he, he's now, you know, he's talking, you know, if this doesn't work, we're going to get tough. The problem is they know he's not going to get tough. It's... Yeah, so that's the whole trick. You know, when President Reagan, former President Reagan, when all those air traffic controllers, yeah. remember, they yeah. all got fired? That's right. He, that did, I think that did more for his presidency because they knew he had some teeth behind him. They know that Obama, first of all, they know that Obama has to do what the left says. The left is not, the left wants all the troops pulled out of Afghanistan. They don't want more in. Yeah, we know who's in control of the White House. Pay TV providers spread over penny-pitching viewers. Yeah, people don't oh. have any money, so they're not, they're not spending it. Isn't that amazing? Duh. <laughs> I mean, I get, okay, I have cable. I mean, I just continue to get things for, you know, you know, wrestling matches, this and that. And I don't, you know, I don't watch any of it. Most of the people aren't watching any of it anymore. Census to be taken control of by the White House. Oh, yeah, that is the big topic today. Yeah, if you like how things are done in Chicago, you're going to see the census ran by no less than Raul Emanuel. Now, they all report to him. So he will do the census for everybody in the country. And guess how that's going to be? Doesn't he have other things that he's supposed to be doing anyway? The census is more important. Oh, yeah, to ensure for the next elections. Yeah. Nissan plans to eliminate 20,000 jobs over the next year. Yeah, well, they, they, they understand that if you can't borrow money to buy their cars, you can't make cars, so they're laying off people. You know, if they would just free up the credit...
They don't understand that. It, it isn't. It, it has. Well, it's all to do with paybacks for the people that help get the Democrats in office, and not about helping the country. Well, the other part is after they're trying to pass the stimulus package, then they have another package that they're trying to pass too for the then, banking. I know, but then there's, then there's another stimulus package that's going to come after that. They said it's a. There's a. It's three parts. This stimulus is going to be in. <sighs> yeah. Gosh. No, and yeah. Afghanistan, not simply an American problem, it's an international problem. I, I, I know. The, nobody's going to send any more troops into Afghanistan. I mean, they, they sent troops in because the United States was going to do most of the heavy lifting. If we're not going to do the fighting, they're not going to send backup people. And without the backup people, you can't have forward line people. Mm -hmm. The U.S. government has approved the first drug produced by genetically engineered livestock. I know. Oh, that's... Produced you know, by genetically engineered livestock. Yeah, they're using the livestock to create the drugs. You know, I hate to tell the people out there, they've been doing this for centuries. That's how you get, you know, you know what serums are? They come from livestock, from eggs, from things like that. Oh. Yeah. Obama had taken on Rush Limbaugh, pouring gasoline on conservative talk radio's hottest fire. Oh, gosh. Limbaugh and Sean Hannity and religious broadcasters fully expect the fairness doctrine we put in in order to muzzle them. Mm -hmm. That liberals can talk all they want and not have to have anybody debunk them. Conservatives can't know. That's, that's well, that's not fair. It's called Talk about Nancy the fairness doctrine. once again, said the pat thing. We won the election. We make the rules. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 63% of Americans believe humans and animals have always existed in their present form. Okay, yeah, I, I told you when the time came, I would say something about an asinine thing by Republicans. If you go to school, you know that school kids do not believe in, in, in you know, creation. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. They're all taught, you know, they're, they're putting stickers on books in southern states that said, that the theory of evolution is just that, a theory, where creation is a fact. <laughs> yeah, and they don't believe it. Kids are too smart to believe them. Okay. Well, you know, part of it is is they learn what they're taught in school, but kids are getting smarter and they have access to the well, Internet. Yeah, dinosaurs and man coexisted with one another 10,000 years ago. Oh, they did, did they? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Ford to make battery electric power transit connect truck. It doesn't make any difference that it gets no more. Okay, it, uh, it can get 100 miles on a charge, which basically means you can't do your deliveries in the city of Los Angeles with it. That's kind of bad. That's How right. many of uh, They don't understand. Oh, you know, that would be horrible. You know, you go to one stop a day. You, then you have to have extra trucks, which requires... And extra people. And, re and basically, there is the big thing that nobody wants to talk about is... Somebody is creating pollution with power somewhere in the line. Mm-hmm. Bugatti supercar found in garage gets big bucks at auction. I know. I mean, there, there are still things. I mean, can you ever imagine a car sitting in a garage that nobody, you know, in a home that nobody looked at for decades? Yeah, it makes you kind of wonder, huh? Yeah. Study says pregnancy doesn't worsen breast cancer. So, yeah, it, it probably shouldn't. It probably should make things better. Biden promises foreign policy shifts. Yeah, it's it's basically you know you know please help us. If you don't help us, we're not going to support you. But then we weren't going to support you anyway. And if you're naughty, we're going to shake our finger at you like a school teacher. Oh, big wolf! <laughs> you know, they said there they said there is absolutely no respect among any country in the world over this new foreign policy that Obama's got. The only thing Missouri is interested in is going out to grab the easy money. I could have told that professor at the University of Missouri that. Many years ago. That's right. Universal Orlando Fear Factor Live shuts for now. Um, they said there's not as many people coming to the park, so therefore they're laying off people on live shows now. I mean, you don't see the Main Street, you don't see the Main Street Parade at Disney at the moment, do you? Nope. Some TV stations to end analog signal on February 17th. Networks aren't, though. Networks got to keep them. Oh. A Monty Bubble. Well, how do you know if you, where you are? I guess you'll find out on February 17th, huh? If, you, if your set doesn't work, it, you mean they shut it off. A Monty Bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, change is inevitable, but it's unfortunately not always for the best. Isn't this so much fun? The scarf? Look at this with the Panthers. It's by Christian Auger. 
what brings out the animal in you? Ah, perfect for news. <laughs>